Hi, my name is Andy, and I'm working on a video game, which is a VR game where you can take parts of the game world, grab them with your hands, and move them around while you're playing. But that's not what I'm here today to talk to you about. I'm here to talk to you about what I would call decentralized social networking, and a prototype I've been working on for about the last year and a half, which is a Twitter clone that has no central server to store the content. It's just browser tabs talking directly to other browser tabs. The reason I'm doing this is that in August of 2019, three separate cloud providers that I depended on, including the place where I've been hosting all of my source code for the last 10 years, all shut down within a three-month period, causing me to swear vengeance and destruction upon cloud providers forever. My Twitter clone is sort of based on something called Mastodon. Mastodon is like Twitter, but instead of having one server the content talks to, everybody talks to different servers. My account on Mastodon is mcc at mastodon.social. This is like an email address. Mastodon.social is like my email server. Different email servers can talk to other email servers. I think this is great because I think that Twitter, social networks, those sort of thing, these are all basically good ideas. I think the problem is that the people who run Twitter and Facebook and that sort of thing made bad decisions decisions. Because Mastodon is split up into these servers, the people who ran, run the individual servers can make better decisions. The problem with Mastodon is that occasionally the servers will just shut down and all the content and all the user accounts and everything that was stored on there is just lost forever. The problem that causes this is that Mastodon isn't decentralized. It's federated. It's an in-between state between centralized and decentralized. Instead of users talking to each other, it's users talking to servers, and there just happens to be more than one server. The servers are still a point of failure. So what I want to do is make a completely decentralized Twitter-like. Uh, this has actually been tried before. It's never worked. The reason why is every attempt to do it has required you to download software. No one wants to download software, and usually the software you have to download is complicated stuff like Node.js, whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up so that everything runs solely in a browser tab. No software downloads required. Nobody wants to download software. They just want to run things in a browser these days. The way that I'm going to do this is what's called distributed computing. This is a very rich and interesting field of study, but the only thing that you really need to know about is that there are two broad categories of distributed data structure algorithms. One is ledgers. The other is distributed hash tables. Both are based on hashes, which is an idea where you can take a long block of content and reduce it to a very short 40-digit-ish number, which mathematically represents the entire thing. Ledgers take a series of events and represent them using a hash. Distributed hash tables allow you to take a series of hashes corresponding to different pieces of content and look up the, the longer piece of content corresponding to the hash. This is how magnet links in BitTorrent work. What I'm going to use is something called Merkle tree accumulators. This is a type of ledger where the data is cut up into little pieces in the same way that it is in a BitTorrent file. And uh, this means that if you want to download just part of it, you can do that. I want to use this to store a post history. I'm going to take the public key that you use to sign all your content, store it at the start of the Merkle tree, and then have every single entry after that in the Merkle tree be one of your tweets or one of your blog posts or whatever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the number at the top of the Merkle tree accumulator, which represents all the data that is underneath it, and I'm going to store it in a DHT so that if someone has the public key that someone uses as their user identifier, they can just go from there to download everything the person has posted or some of what the person has posted. What's really cool about the Merkle tree accumulators is that when it changes, say I add something to the end, or maybe I edit something in the middle, you don't have to re-download the entire thing like you would with something like a blockchain. You only have to download the parts that changed. Uh, this whole plan has a pretty big problem called key rotation. I have a solution. I don't have time to explain it to you. So that explains how I'm going to store the data. That doesn't explain how I'm going to get the data from one browser tab to another. This part's actually easy because it's been done for me. There's a group called IPFS. They have taken all of the components of their P2P network and stored it as modular components called libp2p. You can take libp2p and build your own P2P network on top of it without having to do much work. This is what I have done. I have made this proof of concept. It does not work. I can store data in MTAs, and I can have two browser tabs connect to each other and send data from one browser tab to the other. The problem is that I haven't hooked up these two parts together yet, but I, I can do that. From here, all I have to do is take the MTA part and feed it into the libp2p part that's already working. From there, all I have to do is convince Mastodon to adopt my solution. And from there, all I have to do is generalize what I have made into a general app platform, contact the Foodsters United Union, work with them to create a distributed delivery app, and drive Uber, Foodora, and Amazon out of business. So as you can see, all very straightforward from here. That's all I've got. If you want more information, go to the URL at the top. Uh, these talks are actually being recorded about a month before you're watching, so maybe I'll have the proof of concept working by now. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Please play my video game when it comes out. Thank you very much. Goodbye.